Hi everyone, this is Yana and I thought I'd do a different kind of video today. I'm not going to be showing a card or a tutorial, instead I'll show you some supplies that I recently got from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. Now they did not ask me to do this, I just want to do this myself as a little thank you for them. They were very generous and I you know, just wanted to do something in return. So um, I'd actually love if you could drop me a comment and let me know if you enjoy these type of videos or if I should just stick to making cards in the future. Okay, so um, this box came last uh, late last night and I just had to open it immediately. You know, <laughs> new craft supplies, you just have to open the box like right there on the spot. So I've already seen briefly like all of the stuff that in, uh, that's inside the box, but um, I do want to take a closer look and you know share my experience with you and uh, you know just just um, open the box on the video okay so I'm just gonna open it up briefly and then um, set it aside so that um, I have some room to show this these products to you so I mean, let me just get this out of the way and uh, let's get started. So there's a lot of stuff in this box that I've never seen before, but I'm kind of excited, you know, to give it a try and use these on my projects. So first up uh, is this Easy Runner Grand uh, tape runner with permanent white adhesive strips and also a refill. Now this one has, let me see, 150 feet or 45 meters and so does this one. So a lot of adhesive and the description says that it's, um, let me see, so it says strong permanent double sided adhesive, perfect for hobby and crafts, school projects, framing and more. Uh, strips allow application in a straight lines, curves, circles and small spaces. Mix and match with any easy runner grand refill and easy to use in refill and unbreakable plastic liner. So yay for this. Never used this one before, really excited to try and seeing how much adhesive there is in each of those. I think it's gonna last me like forever. <laughs> I don't know, well, probably for a very, very long time. So next I have the Easy Dots Permanent uh, Adhesive and a couple of refills. And uh, I've had one like this before and I really love it. So this one has 49 feet of adhesive or like 15 meters, which is a pretty good amount and it does last quite, um, you know, a long time. And I like to use this one to adhere paper, like, you know, paper layers onto my cards. Um, and also I like to use it to adhere vellum. It's not invisible under vellum, but it is visible much less than your usual adhesive. So you can kind of get away with this, um, with a permanent dots type of adhesive. So, um, yeah, this is like your pretty good usual adhesive for paper. And I also have a refill, which has the same amount of adhesive that's in the dispenser. And I also have these uh, Easy Stars Runner refill by Donna Salazar. Never seen uh, something like this before, never used this one. And you can actually see there are like stars in this one. And what I'm thinking you can use this one for is to kind of like add um, little stars to your project, you know, like a star border, and then add like glitter or flocking or like pigment powders or anything of that sort to make fun, colorful um, stars for your cards. And this is the actual size of those stars, so that's that. Let me set this aside, and next I have, so next I have these clear dots, and I also have this another pack of clear dots so I've used these before in the past and I love them these are super strong clear a little bit dimensional dots that are perfect to adhere little embellishments I think I've had these like these larger ones so this is the actual size of the dot so pretty big and this is the actual size of the smaller pack so a fairly good you know a fairly good size and there's a hundred of dots in this pack and 300 in this one and the way you use it is you just tear this off okay like well not like that a little, a little differently <laughs> anyhow you tear this and you just pull the dots in it makes it super easy to use those for your projects I, I really love these to like I said uh, adhering embellishments and since these are clear they're pretty much you know invisible on your projects 
Now you can also use these to add like, again, glitter, flocking, pigment powders, whatever, to make like little colorful dots. But I like to use these primarily to add, um, to adhere little embellishments for my projects. Uh, they also have these like extra large dots by Donna Salazar. I've never used these and I've never seen this before. Uh, but I'm kind of excited to give the, these a try. So these are pretty big, much bigger than the, um, the large dots. So you can compare the actual size here. So these are pretty big uh, and these are kind of flat. You know, I know that these are a little bit dimensional, but these are like almost mainly flat. So I'm excited to give, give these a try. Next I have 3D foam squares and I've had and I've used these like a ton in the past. I really like these especially the black I don't know why but black is like my favorite from here so these are like mix 3d foam squares mix self-adhesive packs and I have one in black and one in white and each pack has foam squares uh, that are small and then foam squares that are like medium or large I guess and there's 217 in each and I love to use those primarily for my Spellbinders cards, you know, where I have a lot of layers and a lot of dimension. And these work just like perfectly for um, this type of product projects. Okay, next I have, let me see. I have these 3D foam creative sheets. And I've also had these in the past. And um, each pack here has... So again, this is a mix pack and you have a black and a white. These are like identical packs. So there are two sheets and they're the size of an A2 card. So four and a quarter by five and a half inches about. So what I like to use these for is I like to cut them up with my scissors and use as adhesive, but as like a thinner type of adhesive for my project so that I don't have as much dimension. Okay, I had to pause and delete some footage from my uh, memory card card because I was like running out of space. Sorry about that. So uh, these are pretty awesome. And I think you can also use them in your die cutting machine, you know, um, to die cut some adhesive shapes. You won't be able to die cut like a super intricate detailed shape, but something like a circle or a square, you can do that with these um, 3D foam creative sheets. Love them. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, next I have these creative photo corners, creative photo corners, excuse me, and I have two packs here. I have white and I have black. Now, these are obviously perfect for scrapbookers, but you can also use them to make cards. I've had a card published in a magazine. It was a holiday card where I added a photo, like a holiday photo, photo and I used these, um, I don't remember whether those were black or white, but I used those photo corners to attach that photo onto that card and it just looked awesome. So these are not just, you know, for scrapbookers, you can use them in your card making, you can use these to attach like layers, to do something fun and funky and, you know, and unexpected. And there's 108 in each pack, so there is a ton in um, each of those and these make it super easy to like if you're uh, if you're a scrapbooker and you scrapbook a lot of photos these make it super easy to attach your photos to your car to your um, scrapbook layout love them also uh, i also have these create uh, keepsake envelopes and again these are self-adhesive and these are clear now i've used these a little bit in the past and let me let me show you so you have a couple of sizes in here and these are indeed, indeed indeed clear. So I've used these in the past and what I like to use them most for is to add like little sequence to your projects. You can also use these to add like little embellishments or make like a secret compartment for your card. So you know, lots of possibilities, lots of options, super cute and super fun to use. Okay, next I have these extra, uh, excuse me, extreme double-sided tape and premium double-sided tape. Um, never used either of those before. Uh, super excited to try them. I'm really liking the extreme double-sided tape. I think I can use it for uh, like to adhere watercolor paper. I like to create cards with watercolor backgrounds, but I always have trouble when I need to adhere watercolor paper onto, onto my card base because it doesn't want to stick. So I've been on a lookout for a really good and nice and strong double-sided adhesive. So I think this is going to work perfectly for this. 
there's a six yards and I believe it should be like super, super sticky. Now this other uh, premium double-sided tape has 25 yards and it's just, uh, it's kind of like narrow, I would say. This one is a little bit wider. I'm not sure if you can see that. So yeah, excited to try this one also to adhere like paper layers to, uh, to my cards. Okay, next I have these pigment powders and I have a pigment powder in gold and pigment powder in brown. Um, I did use pigment powders in the past a little bit, not a whole lot, so I'm kind of new to this type of product, but I'm very excited to give it a try and see what I can make with it. It says on the back that pigment powders can be used alone by applying directly to adhesive surfaces. Um, or you can mix pigment powders into a variety of art mediums, such as paint, glaze, ink, and more. So pretty much a lot of different uses for these. And I think it would be fun to use on top of some of those adhesives that I have here, you know, like add to that um, adhesive dot or something like that, you know. Lots of fun ways that you can incorporate those into your projects. And who doesn't love gold? I love gold. Okay, we're almost done. I also have this dual tip glue pen. Again, this is something that's new for me and it says here that it's permanent. Let's see what it says on the back. So you have a fine tip and you have a wide tip and it says ideal for home, office, school and general craft projects. Apply thin layer of adhesive onto project, place the project onto the surface, combine and press down. Allow it to bond for three to five minutes and use warm water to wash from hands or clothing. Ideal for home, office, school or general craft projects. Apply glue evenly onto surface and press objects together. So this is basically just some fun glue to give it a try and I'll be sure to use it on some of my projects where I need to adhere something with a liquid adhesive. And finally, last but not least, this is probably my all-time favorite uh, product from Scrapbook Adhesive, is the adhesive sheets. So this is a pack of 12 by 12 adhesive sheets and there are five of those sheets in one package. And what I love, what I love to use these most for is to create my own sticky bag die cuts, like uh, st little stickers. So if you're like into making your own backgrounds using die cuts, this is a must have for you. So what you do is you take the sheet, you adhere your paper onto your onto this adhesive sheet, you die cut it, and then you have an instant uh, sticky die cut. Super easy to use and I've been using this stuff like crazy. They also have it in um, other size. I think they also have it in four by six or something like that. And I honestly really love these adhesive sheets. They are super strong, high quality, and I've never had a problem with those in the past. So this wraps up this video and I really hope that you um, enjoyed it. If you didn't like it, please let me know, leave me a comment, and I won't be doing any more videos like this. I'll try to link all of these products to the um, scrapbook adhesive. Uh, online store so that you can take a closer look and I'll also try to link those to some other stores for your convenience. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye!